Hello viewers, I am Will Keith, and I am here today with a new knife review. And I haven't done this in a long time. As I mentioned in my last video, I used Patreon money to help get my website set up. But now that's done, so I am back to buying knives. This took a lot longer to get delivered than I thought it would due to shipping fuckery with living in an apartment complex. It, and like every other package that was supposed to be delivered on that day, got left at the main office like three days ago. And they just decided to call me about it now. While I've been like talking to the post office. I, I could bitch about the post office for like 20 videos, but I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, the knife, if you can see it here, is... Let me get it out. The Gerber 420 Strongarm. And Gerber, Gerber, I don't know how you want to pronounce that. I've always heard Gerber, so uh, that's what I'm going with. This, it was recommended to me by a friend, by John, a uh, really cool guy, been watching my videos for a long time. He found this online, sent me a link, and I fucking love the look of it. It's got a very military look. The color, Coyote Tan, matches my backpack. And the one thing that I really, really loved about this, I've never had a Gerber knife before. I've um, had K-Bar, I've had Spyderco, but I've never really gone for a Gerber, and I really hope I'm saying that right. But what really got me with this is the sheath. The sheath is amazing. I got it as a backpack knife to replace the tiny Spyderco, so the Spyderco could become my everyday carry knife. But um, I'm gonna kind of split the utility pouch and first aid pouch here, and you can see the sheath. It attaches native, whoops, the uh, pouch just came unbuttoned but it attaches to the molly straps natively here then i don't have to use any paracord or any other weird stuff to get it on there it just attaches right on and the knife it goes straight in and just clicks and it can go in either way i can flip it around and put it in the other way as well why is that not working i'm the backpack is heavy I don't know if you can see me. Yeah. Once I uh, set it down there, it went in. No problem. Goes in both ways. So, whatever you prefer. So, anyway, the knife, as the name implies, is 420 stainless steel. And that's completely fine. Everybody complains about stainless steel and knives. But the actual fact is that along, as long as a blade is shorter than about 12 inches, it's fine. Stainless steel, it keeps it clean, it feels good, it's got a solid weight to it. It doesn't like flex or bend, it's solid steel. But if it goes over 12 inches, it can get brittle and it can snap. And it's just um, no good in longer blades, like machetes or um, swords, especially swords. Some machetes can get away with stainless steel, but um, it feels like good quality. It's heavy, like I said, it doesn't feel like thin, lightweight steel. It's um, got a decent width to it, if you can see there. And one thing i got to say is this is possibly the best grip I've ever seen on a knife. It is amazing. It feels completely perfect in my hand. And, like, I got big meaty claws, you know. But it really, really locks in there. And it's kind of got rubber around the grip, rubberized grip with a uh, really good texture. Let me slide around here don't have much room you can see the uh texture on the grip there like i don't think fucking incredible hulk could pull this thing out of my hand and the edge i think is really good out of the box because as i was getting used to getting it in and out of the slot of my backpack I pulled it out a little bit too rough, and I slashed open one of the straps on my utility pouch. So, um, I'm going to have to replace that. It's still connected a little bit. It's, like, nearly headless nicked, but I'm going to have to get a new one of those or assume they're cheap. I got this thing for, like, 15 bucks, so uh, that's not a big deal. But it, it is, like, good material there, so I think it has a very good edge. I'm going to be testing it on bottles as I do... And with all blades, as I do the first review for anything new I get, I do not sharpen it. I test everything as it is out of the box. So this has not been sharpened. 
if it doesn't cut or if it cuts badly, then I'll have it sharpened and I'll be doing a new um, kind of revisited review after I have it improved. But I think this should have a good edge and I'm going to give it a test right now. Uh, I'm going to get my backpack out of the way so it doesn't get all wet. I'm going to do a Resident Evil cut. That felt amazing. Well, due to the blade being kind of sharp, it didn't get all the way through. Another uh, nearly had the snake situation here, but I felt no resistance as I hit it. If I, uh, whoops, if I get a better angle, I think I should be able to get a perfect cut all the way through. So, uh, let's give that another go with the same style, better stance, focus mode. That's how you do it, out of the box. Now before I do the other two cuts I have, just kind of a banana for scale kind of thing. This is a small knife. It's not like a full size United States Army combat knife kind of deal. Uh, when compared to the K-Bar Warsword here, it's got a, a pretty small blade, but you know, a small blade is good. I don't have anything with which to measure it, even though I probably should have thought about that. But I could probably find that info on the Amazon page, or you can, and they'll probably have the exact length. I'd say we got about four inches of blade here, maybe three and a half. I'd say a four inch blade. Alright, moving on to another cut. Now I'm going to be going down like this. Hit that at kind of a bad angle, but got it. All right, last one. Fucking perfect. Incredible edge on this thing out of the box. Uh, trying to get all of these bottle pieces up here so it's easier to clean up later and it uh hacks into the wood pretty well too so um i'm gonna be going in the back into my lair and kind of wail on some less valuable wood this is my tatami stand i don't want to fuck it up so i'm gonna go beat on my post uh, which is repairing anyway so i will see you back there in a second all right I'm out in the lair and I'm just going to kind of wail on what's left of my post here. I'm just going to like hulk out on it and make sure nothing happens to the edge when I'm beating it into wood. Should be fine. Feels like a solid knife. I've done the same thing with worse knives than this and they all survive just fine. So here we go. Just going to start kind of chopping down into it. probably see the chunks that are flying off of the post. Now I want to talk about I'm hitting like a very hard object and the knife is staying very solid in my hand. Like I'm not losing my grip on it in the slightest. Gouged up the side of it pretty good. Edge looks completely fine. It's not smutzed up, smutzed up. There's no chips out of it or anything. Very solid. Very good knife. Yep, still nothing. All right. So, Gerber Strongarm. You can get it off of Amazon for about 65 bucks. 
It uh, comes in the Coyote Tan and Black. If you don't like the Scarlet, they have it in black as well. And there's two different versions. One, the one that I have with the straight edge, and one with um, half serrated. I'm not a fan of the serrated edges, so I went with straight. But a uh, pretty fucking good knife. Another thing I want to mention is that it comes with ways to attach it to basically anything you can imagine. I just have the sheath attacked, by, attacked, um, attached by itself to my backpack, but it comes with a uh, belt attached, and you can just hang that on your belt, put it out of there. It has uh, this thing, which you can use along with the rest of the sheath to attach it kind of sideways to your belt. So like if this is your belt, you can have it going along like this, which kind of makes it more solid to pull out than if it was just hanging loose at your leg. So basically any way you want to mount this, if you have a bulletproof vest with the Mahdi straps on it, obviously you can attach it to that. Um, lots of different options for however you want to carry the knife. And where is, whatever, that's fine. And my backpack, since the uh, end of the grip is kind of sticking out the top, I have this name tag, which I can use to cover it and when I do that, it's basically not visible from the outside. And I've also made this little duct, duct tape sheath thing here. So if I'm somewhere where I absolutely should not be open carrying a knife, I can just take the knife, slide it in the duct tape sheath, lock it in like that, and just stick it on the inside of my backpack so it's not visible at all from the outside to even the most well-trained knife eye. So one and all, very solid, small knife. Uh, it's not that small, there's much smaller knives out there, but for like a good military field and fixed blade knife, it's, um, I would highly recommend. 65 bucks off of Amazon. I will put a link in the video description if if you enjoy my content and would like to help me keep producing better and better videos, buying new stuff to review, feel free to visit my Patreon. Also a link in the video description, patreon.com slash k. And if you'd like to purchase clothing that I've designed, such as this hoodie I am wearing, feel free to visit my own website at fatswordsman.com. So thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you next time. End video.